God's token, 100x, hmm. Welcome to Framework Fortune Crypto and welcome back Framework Fortune community. I'm your host Ben. Now let's dive in. So after yesterday's video on Gods Unchained and all the updates that happened and the live stream gameplay that I did all day yesterday, I got one question quite a bit so I figured I would do my best to answer it. Will Gods Token 100 X. Well, we first have to figure out a couple of things to even think about that. For God's token 100x from where it's at now, 100 times $6.40, $650. Now that is a pretty high price goal for any coin that's only been out for about a month. But you never know, we've seen Sheeb and other coins just rip to the sky and make thousand X moves. So we're gonna take a look at some of the most important parts of the technical analysis and then kind of wrap in some fundamentals to try to figure that question out. And we should, if buy-in continues to come in, see a breakup and another test of eight dollars. Now I was expecting it to test it last night and break out of the triangle, but it didn't, and that's okay. I'm sure that some of the buyers that came in from Coinbase and Crypto probably had no idea what they were buying. It ran up and they were like, oh boy, I gotta lock this out. They just bought a coin that they saw pop up new. A lot of different variables like that that we have to consider. But a lot of people are going to hodl gods, so knowing that that's a good thing that could be on the checklist for a possible 100 xer Any assets, whether it be crypto stocks or gold or silver, real estate, whatever, are going to be subject to supply and demand. So one of the first things we have to look at to see if a crypto or any asset is going to go up, we have to ask the question, is the demand outpacing the supply? Because if the demand doesn't outpace the supply, there's no possible way that any asset is going to 100x or even 5x. You have to have higher demand than supply. So we're on CoinGecko here to check out the supply. So total supply, 500 million. Max supply, 500 million. They have capped it. This is a pretty low supply compared to a lot of coins. But look at the circulating supply currently. 33,725,000. Very, very low supply. Now, this 500 million is locked up, but parts of that supply is being paid out to players weekly for the Blessings of the Gods weekly events. Whether players sell those coins or hold them, that's going to be hard to say. We don't know how many people are just going to come in the game and try to just earn as much as they can and then leave it, you know, once the price shoots up. But we do know there is a pretty strong player base of at least 10 to 15,000 people who were more than likely going to continue to hodl this. But you have to keep in mind more supply is going to be added in to the circulating supply as time moves on until there's no more God's rewards left. And then God's will just be all out there, probably not quite at 500 million, but I would say we'll probably end up somewhere around 250, 300 million in the supply. So if the supply is increasing, that means the demand is gonna to have to outweigh that increasing supply and outweigh the current supply. So how many holders do we currently have? And this is live coin watch. We can see we have 4,000 holders. Now earlier last week I checked this and we were about 2,200 holders. So we've almost doubled in holders in a week since it hit Coinbase and Crypto.com. And it is now on six different exchanges so it's breaking a lot of ground very fast so let's say we've got four thousand holders and let's say each one of them has a hundred tokens so a hundred times four thousand that is four hundred thousand so four hundred thousand of people holding at the moment is only a small chunk of that 33 million in circulating supply that we have so the price as of now could have jumped a little too fast for the amount of holders 
However, if we continue to see the rate of holders growing at the same pace, then we would say that's about you know 2,000 a week, or we could even say possibly that the holders are gonna double in a week. We need another week to find out if that's gonna be accurate. So I'm not gonna say it's gonna double in a week, but I'd say we may see another 2,000 holders towards the end of next week, so that would be 6,000. And if we continue down that route, there's 52 weeks in a year times 2,000. And you're looking at over a hundred thousand holders in a year now we do that same math a hundred thousand holders and I'm gonna pull up a calculator for this one times say an average of everybody holding a hundred gods tokens that's 10 million so that would be a third of that circulating supply locked up in a year if we continue to grow at this rate now another thing to think about is gods unchained the game the token it's still early development gods token will be stakeable sometime shortly in the future so adding that staking element to it is definitely going to bring in more holders because it's going to incentivize so they can gain that interest on their coins so is it possible in a year that we see a hundred thousand people become hodlers of gods unchained and a third of the circulating supply locked up in another year though another 10 million gods tokens could be unlocked and given out to players and all of that which would leave us right back where we started at that 33 million supply that 10 million by the end of the year would cancel out this 10 million but say only a hundred thousand of the God supply is released next year. Well, then we only have a hundred thousand added to the supply, which would put us around almost 34 million. But we have this number of 10 million. Well, now the circulating supply is down to 24 million. Just off of those small numbers alone, these are small estimates, in my opinion, a hundred thousand holders in a year, we could see at least a third of the supply locked up. Now if the growth rate of holders picks up because staking comes out, then we could see this number even higher. And if that's the case, demand will definitely outpace supply. Besides the staking, what other incentives do we have for people to hodl God's tokens? Currently, one of the biggest incentives to have God's tokens is using the forge to mint your nfts these gray cards are not nfts yet you have to use two of them to fuse and when you fuse you have to use some gods tokens with the ability to forge nfts and even forge them up into higher quality nfts that function of gods token is going to make people want to buy it especially because the dev team just announced not too long ago that they were going to be paying more rewards for people who are using higher quality NFTs in their deck. So if you use all meteorite, which is this quality, you may get a bonus on your gods tokens or card pack prizes. If you go up to a shadow or gold, or say you have an entire diamond deck, which would be outrageously expensive, you would get some type of percentage gain on those of course it would probably be higher because of the higher quality you're using so that incentivizes people to buy gods now because if they think it's going to 100x or if they even think it's going to go to 20 dollars getting it now at six dollars is going to be cheaper when fusing in the forge than later on if it's 20 dollars or you know uh, $50 something like that if you're expecting gods to 100x by the end of December that is probably not going to happen that would be a very big move in a very short amount of time and we don't have the staking yet we only have the incentives currently that we have which is the forge minting up the nfts and holding the gods tokens thinking that you're going to get a higher price later for them but let's compare it to what I consider the closest coin to it, and that is Axie Infinity. And see the time range on Axie Infinity of when it exploded when it first came out. So when Axie came out, it was around November 20th, is around 70 cents. It took it quite a while to get going. So from when it first came out, and it was down around a quarter or 50 cents or whatever, it took from November 20th to March 21st so three and a half months 
before it really started taking off. Even with the run all the way up to 10 in May, it still had another pullback before it had the big explosion in July. It took three quarters of a year for this thing to really have a big explosion and this is definitely 100x because this was down at like 15 cents so all the way up to 107 that's more than 100x so Axie was able to do it in a year we look at that growth rate of the holders and the estimated demand versus the supply and which is low end this is a possibility I mean we could see that but let's check and see what the supply of Axie is and compare Axie versus gods there. So Axie Infinity is ranked 27 by market cap and if we look at the supply there's a total supply of 270 million which is about 230 million less than gods unchained but the circulating supply is at 67 million. Currently gods is half of the circulating supply. There's definitely some possibility for some crazy jumps with as low a supply as God's is. But will this circulating supply stay low with God's or as low as Axie Infinity has over that year span so far? We don't know. But if it can stay around this circulating supply, it's still pretty low supply and we could see that. Now let's check the holders of Axie and we can see holders 45,000. So after a year, Axie only has 45,000. However, when the game came out, the Axie NFTs to play with were a little expensive. Gods Unchained, you can start out playing for free and continue playing for free and get paid out in Gods tokens and unlock more cards that can be minted in, in, into NFTs. So that is a big difference between Axie and Gods Unchained is Gods is free to play so anybody can get into it where Axie you had to pay some money up front to start playing at least when I looked at it at two dollars uh, last year in November. So with it being an expensive game to enter whereas Gods is not a lot more people can actually come into gods and become smaller holders of the coins and play the game without ever having to spend a dollar. So that big difference to me actually puts gods at an advantage coming out the gate over Axie. But we don't have a crystal ball, so let's say we don't get to 100,000. We move at the pace of Axie and we get about 50,000 in a year. So that would have that 10 million supply that's gone from hodlers to 5 million we would be about 26 million left in god's token supply so instead of a third of it locked up it would be maybe about a fourth and with the supply growth the inflation probably about a fifth you saw the video from yesterday I said God's player base has grown from about 5,000 to 50,000 in only a month. So if we already have 50,000 players, it's very possible that we could outgrow Axie Infinity if all those players start holding gods. If a lot of them start moving up in the ranks as more players come in, more people will be getting paid out in gods. And if they continue to hold and don't sell them, then the supply will continue to stay low while demand continues to rise and we could see some big jumps in God's Unchained. Do I think it's going to 100x? I'll be honest, I don't know. Anybody telling you that anything is going to 100x unless they have a magical crystal ball or have smoked so much meth they can see into the future is probably blowing smoke up your anus because nobody really knows. Does it have the potential? I think so, but not in the short time period that I think a lot of you are expecting. This is going to be a longer term hold as this community and ecosystem continues to grow and build out. I am in, I'm hodling. Of course, always do your own research. This is not financial advice. This is just my thoughts on gods and my technical analysis and fundamental analysis. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Appreciate everybody joining me. Stay safe out there. Until next time.